today we will learn about cyclones it is considered as natural disaster because it also cause destruction to mankind impacts of cyclones the winds have erosive power which destroys everything that comes in their way cyclone produce continuous rainfall in a short period of time which may cause flooding and loss of life and property in coastal areas huge sea waves called storm surges are generated which may cause destruction on a large scale effective safety measures against cyclones the following safety measures should be taken by the government for the people living in cyclone prone coastal areas to prevent cyclone related disasters construction of resistant houses should be made possible forecast management system should be established in areas vulnerable to cyclones as soon as the warning is given arrangements should be made to shift the livestock and household items to safe place in case of evacuation the houses should be sealed after disconnecting power supplies a risk map should be prepared about the estimation of extent and destruction caused by cyclones to human life livestock and infrastructure storage of drinking water food candles matches and first aid material should be made possible keep in touch with radio and report to emergency rescue centers established by the government action on the part of the people before a cyclone hits their area the following advance planning must be done by the people living in the cyclone prone coastal areas when a cyclone warning has been issued in their area first of all there is no need to panic people should stay calm and must ignore rumors keep your mobiles charged keep a small emergency kit ready in case of any emergency arising out of any injury keep your important documents in waterproof packet or container secure your house properly and don't keep sharp objects loose because they cause injury during heavy winds precautions to be taken during the cyclone switch off electrical equipment and main line also close gas connection keep the doors and windows of your house shut as outside objects may hit the house in heavy winds if you think your house may not withstand the fiery winds then leave before the onset of cyclone always remember to drink chlorinated or boiled water to avoid any waterborne diseases only 
rely on official information and warning avoid rumors and fake news things to keep in mind after cyclone avoid entering damaged building as they may have suffered during the storm do watch out for broken electric poles and sharp objects seek a safe place soon after the cyclone passes so students by following all these measures you can mitigate the loss of life and property i have told you earlier that you cannot reduce or you cannot stop the natural disaster but by following the safety measures and by taking precautions you can mitigate the loss of life and property